So to transfer po from coins to coins, may tatlong ways po. First po ay via email address. Pangalawa, via phone number. Pangatlo naman ay via BTC address. And also, sa video na to, how to convert BTC to PHP, ituturo ko rin. So guys, if interested ka, then proceed na tayo sa video. So dito po sa ating Coinspace account, punta po tayo dito sa send. Yung nasa pinaka-left side, send. And then ang daming ways po, send by email, SMS, or Facebook. Send to a bank account, send to pair padala, scan QR code, enter BTC wallet address, or send an ang pao. Alam ko, meron din sa Gcash, and I'm not so sure sa Paymaya, guys. Pero, try po natin itong send by email. So, of course, ayan, may iba-ibang email. It's either name, it's either name, email, or phone number po. But make sure na alam niyo po yung registered name, re registered email, or registered phone number po ng padadalaan niyo. And so, ilagay ko lang dito, I understand. And then, ilagay muna natin dito yung amount. Siyempre, PHP. Yung gusto natin ilagay. And then, for the amount, maybe 50 pesos. Let's see kung pwede. And then, for the name, siyempre yung registered name po. Pero, lagay ko lang dito, let's say, let's try po the email address. Okay? Okay, so as you can see guys, nilagay ko po yung email, tapos yung amount, and then yung purpose po, nilagay ko lang load. Then slide to pay lang tayo guys, and let's see. Please enter the email verification code you received. Didn't get the code, we sent email. So, maybe send code via SMS tayo. And let's see, kung marireceive natin yung SMS verification code. Ayan. So, let me see. A22486. A22486. Oh my gosh. Okay, so guys, na-enter ko na yung verification code. And, ayan na nga. Na-send na natin yung 50 pesos sa email address na ito. Alright? So, very easy lang. And, check natin yung history. ayun, nabawasan na po ng 50 pesos yung ating okay, punta tayo sa send send by email or SMS or Facebook then ilagay natin dito yung contact number po na registered ng coins and page so ilagay ko lang yung number and then dito, amount will be 50 pesos pa rin and what's it for, always ko lang ilalagay load kasi mas maikli siya, madali lang i-type and uh, yeah bawas ang time. Okay, guys. Time is precious, guys. I understand lang. And then, enter ko lang yung phone number dito, guys. Still the same. Please enter the email verification code you received. Pero gusto ko send code via SMS lang siya para mas madali siyang tumating. So, depende na lang sa inyo, guys. Pero, still waiting. Ayan. Ito na siya. Check natin. 513-276. 513-276-513-276-Submit-513-276-Submit-513-276-Submit-513-276-Submit-513-276-Submit-513-276-Submit-513-276-Submit-513-276-Submit-513-276-Submit-513-276-Submit-513-276-Submit-513-276-Submit-
Okay, another way para makapag-send ng pera from coins to coins po will be send and then ito po, enter BTC wallet address. Pero, kailangan natin ng wallet address ng pag-sesendan or pag padadalhan po natin ng pera. Okay? But if you don't know kung saan makikita yung wallet address, ito lang. Punta tayo dito. So, ito yung ating coins PH, di ba? In peso. Kailangan natin malaman yung BTC address po natin. So, BTC, ito yung ating amount. We only have 15 pesos, ano? Pero, para malaman natin kung ano yung BTC address natin, para in case may mag-send sa atin ng BTC, di ba? Alam natin kung paano natin ibibigay. So, receive and then show my BTC address. Ito yung BTC address ninyo guys. Gawin nyo, i-copy nyo or i-share. Pero kung kayo po yung magre-request ng pera ng BTC amount, then pwede naman kayo makapag-request dito ng specific amount po. Let's say in peso, you want 500. So that will be 0 0.01 blah blah blah. Okay? And then, i-copy nyo lang yan siya or i-share ninyo. Pero, since tayo po ay magpapadala nga ng pera or magsisend tayo ng BTC sa ating friend, ganyan. So, gawin lang natin is uh, i-copy or share and then copy wallet address or i-share QR code mo or i-save QR code to gallery para in case um, how do you say them? ay magbibigay sa'yo, may magpapadala sa'yo ng BTC, then diretso mo na send sa kanya yung code, di ba? Pero I think, kailangan natin itong copy wallet address. So, copy lang natin yan, guys. Make sure na yun yung ibibigay sa inyo if kayo yung magsisend ng BTC. Okay? So, meron akong BTC. Of course, hindi tayo pwede makapag-send ng BTC sa sarili natin. Okay? So, humingi na ako ng BTC sa friend ko. Balik tayo dito sa PHP. And then, send. Enter BTC wallet address. So, dito natin ipipaste yung wallet address. And then, okay lang natin yan. Transfer to another coins wallet. So, another coins wallet siya. Yun nga lang in BTC form. So, lagay natin dito amount of PHP. So, amount in PHP, I just want to send one up. Wow, I just want to Okay, 100 pesos lang. Huwag siyang masyadong mag-expect. Okay? Dahil 391 lang yung laman ng wallet natin. Maybe next time. Pero sa ngayon, yun lang kasi. No? For ad message, maybe optional lang naman siya. Pero, okay, what's it for? La lang. La lang. Wala lang. And then, I understand. And slide to pay lang tayo. So, in BTC po, that will be 0 0.00022078 po. Okay, ito mo lang. Slide to send. The funds will immediately be deposited in the recipient's wallet and cannot be recovered. To stay safe, please verify the recipient's identity before completing this payment. So, sure naman ako. Continue lang natin yan. And then, enter natin dito yung email verification pero gusto mga SMS, guys. So, hintayin lang natin yung SMS verification code. Okay, ang tagal niya, guys. Oh, hindi pa natin receive yung SMS verification code mo natin. Yan, wala na tayong time. Resend code lang tayo. a problem daw. So, hopefully, ma-receive natin yung code ngayon. Ayan na guys. Success. You sent 100 pesos. Pero, ma-receive niya in BTC form po. Ayan. So, for lalang. Ano bakit for lalang? Status success. Transferred at. Ayan. Then, reference ID. So, make, I mean, back to wallet tayo and let's see kung magkano na yung laman ng ating wallet. Ayan, 291 na lang siya, guys. And check natin dito sa history. Ayun na nga. 
So, nakapag-send na kayo ng 100 pesos. Okay, so guys, tayo ay magko-convert po from BTC to our Coinspeech wallet. So, ganito lang guys. Ito yung homepage. Punta tayo dito sa BTC. And then as you can see, 14.9 pesos po yung equivalent ng ating BTC. So, gusto natin ilipat sa ating Coinspeech wallet. Now, tingnan natin dito guys, sa baba po ng cash in, meron pong convert. Tap lang natin yan. Tapos dito, you are converting from and then you will receive. So, you are converting from BTC and then you will receive PHP. Right? So, yung ating balance kasi, kung i-convert mo sa PHP is 14 pesos. So, dito na lang natin lagay guys kasi mahirap ilagay yung BTC amount. So, kung alam nyo yung amount na inyong PHP, then dito na lang sa baba. So, ayan na guys, 14 pesos yun guys, ano. And then, slide to convert lang natin. Ayun! And as you can see, yung laman nating BTC, kung i-convert po sa PHP, will be 0.9 na lang. Kasi, yung 14, tingnan natin dito sa PHP, pumasok na siya dito guys. So, history lang tayo. Just to make sure. And, there you go. Converted from BTC. Nakatanggap po tayo ng 14 pesos sa ating account. I hope nakatulong ang video na to. And if yes, then please subscribe to my channel. Kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe, like mo na rin itong video. And comment down below ano ba yung videos na gusto nyo mong panood sa channel natin. Thank you so much for watching.